Welcome back to part 2 of our playthrough of Heart Gold version. We're doing the random encounter and random level playthrough. So we will begin. I think my next point is to go to the Bellsprout Tower. Did you go to that before the gym? So here we go, this fellow is telling me I have to go to Bellsprout Tower, so I was correct. So off I go. So we're into Sprout Tower now. And I will level up my Snover for absolutely wrecking the bird gym. Beak. So as always, I don't like them seeing me. I like to get them first, so I've got him. So it's gonna be a bit boring, it's just gonna be bell sprouts, bell sprouts, hoot hoots, bell sprouts, so. Can watch me absolutely destroy bell sprouts. This Nova is actually pretty monstrous because it also has heal, so I'm sort of getting double damage in the early stage of the game. That extra damage is essential. But I'll skip the last bell sprout. And there it goes, that bell sprout has been destroyed. It's the red lips on the bell sprout that really it makes me feel uneasy. It's very, very scary. Um, big red bell sprout lips. Oh, there's life. It's my first grass attack for this snowber boy. attack went up enough just to one hit them bell sprouts. So let me go, what are we picking up here? Paralyze here. Amazing. And, uh, I got him as well. He didn't see me, I got him. So here we go, I'll just skip the last battle here and you can watch this thing go absolutely annihilate this bell sprout with a flame floor. I'll try and make this as quick as possible because Sprout Tower is a bit boring. Oh, he got me. No. I'm going to get three Bell Sprouts. Skip to the last Bell Sprout. Destroy it. That should be it. There we go. Oh, controllers. So we'll skip these trainer bottles and then we can see the red-headed rival giving some abuse to the old man. So I'll get this Pokeball in case it's a... Well, I'll get this last person. I think this person actually might have a different Pokemon. I think he has a Hoot Hoot. Oh, maybe 
maybe just fail swipe. There we go. Down it goes. Here comes that hoot hoot now. Leveled up, nice. I'll try and add this Aaron to my collection. Aaron. Well, of course I killed it. Typical. <laughs> Always dies. We have the escape rope for escaping. Happy days. And we will challenge this old man. Oh, flip, here's a, a legendary encounter. Oh, well, adios. I'll try and add this to my party, but my luck with legendaries is the second attack always kills him, but we'll see what happens here. An amber. Done okay damage. Side wave, this will probably be quite strong. Oh, not too bad actually. I'll hit with flame floor. There we go. Ah, it doesn't matter, died. Dead. So, ah oh well. I'm also going to do it whenever I'm catching Pokemon, I'm only going to use a Pokeball as well just to make it a bit difficult. So, I'll start with. The Elder, so that I can finally go and get the first gym badge. And then, of course, I'm going to be putting the random level on when I get Pokemon to level 30, because I'm not going to stand a chance against any level 70 Pokemon, regardless. Like, but here we go. Here's the Hoot Hoot. Send out Snover just to get some extra experience under its belt to go and rack this gym. Here we go, level 10. The hail should come in pretty clutch here. So we'll just I'll go all out on this hill for next speed. Absolutely freeze it. And there we go, here's some hail damage, happy days. Just clean up pretty nicely with one more attack. Ah, oh, no way. Hypnosis. It's not like 30% chance of hitting. 55? I'm pretty sure it's low, but sure. Hopefully I wake up before it kills me. Pack? Oh no, it'll wipe me out. Oh no, I'm, I survived. Hang on, bad Fred. Oh. Big indeed. Big. Except with the pack, oh, I'm dead. First over. Oh, well, it knocked the Hoot Hoot out. Um, I wonder if I send the next Pokemon out, will it get the XP here, or what will happen? Now we get no XP, but you know the drill will just burn these flowers, and then we'll be flying. Not as easy enough. Oh, evolution? Um, I don't think so. I like keeping my starters in their base forms as long as I can. Also, sometimes you learn like better moves. So come on, hurry up, finish what you're saying, Team 70. Flash? I thought, I thought Flash would have been an HM, but it's just a TM. 
Of course when I'm going through the cave, because Yugi mens we are hard as nails, we, we don't use flash, we just walk through in the darkness. That's how it's done. Why waste a why waste a move on flash? So here we go, here's the gym. I'll probably skip these trainers. I forgot you could walk around and skip them, but I'm just gonna go around, battle them, get the XP, and then I'll skip to the gym leader. So here we go. First gem badge we'll get. I'm feeling confident the Snover should clean up pretty nicely here. So we have a Pidgey. Of course, if, if you wanted to know what the last trainers had, it was just Pidgeys. They all had Pidgeys. They all had Beak. My snowboard's at half health, so this doesn't look good. Forgot to hate him. So there we go. One Pidgey down. I really needed that level up there, but I'll see how far against the Pidgey will. So hopefully an Ice Beam should finish this off. Nope, one Tackle killed me. Oh well. At least it'll get some heal damage. And I, I'll send out Toad to clean it up. So here we go. Roost. Don't tell me it's just going to spam Roost. So we'll use Brian because I think if you use it again, it doubles the attack. And the heal should buff it a good bit, so I should hopefully take it out. <coughs> So here we go, it seems to be just spam and roost. It's near as bad as them burnings, it just keeps spam and protect. So I should finish it off now, it will use a move for once. At least he's done me the favour and he's just gave up using Roost, so there's just no winning now. Level 11 total died. Happy days. Level 12 I got from it. So there we go, first badge on our belt. Happy days. Gives you roost. So I'll go in, I'll pick up the egg from this professor. This mysterious egg. God knows what's inside it. And then, of course, we'll off the flip side with the motorway. Hurry up. So with every play for it, I'm gonna to have to go up and I'm gonna to have to watch the pseudo widow dance. And there we go, there's a dancing pseudo widow for you as well. HM6, that's strength. Oh no, it's rock, uh, rock smash. Uh, An HM, I'm not gonna bother using. And what's down here? Ruins of Alpha, I believe. That is, yeah. I'm just gonna go back and go my usual path because I don't wanna change things up here. Go over and check them. I'm pretty sure Ruins of Alpha is in here. I think I've just ruined, uh, wasted a perfectly good shortcut and just wasted more time, but... 
Yeah, it is. It could have just went straight down. Fair enough. I'll do a few more random encounters before I progress. So what do we have? We have... A zoom run. Maybe it's just this might be a bit difficult. Although I have the grass move now, so I should hopefully take it out in a couple of moves. That's faster as well. So here we go, Razor Leaf. Well, that's a literally nothing. The zoom is so tiny. So we'll move on to another encounter. Oh, here we go. Here's the Almighty Fire Chicken. Shout out to Dr. Chickens. This is one of his favourite Pokemon, I assume, since he likes chicken. So, let's see how we fare against this. Of course, if it has a fire move here, I'm so dead. Like, so dead. <laughs> so here we go. We will... We will... Shoot web. Oh, Amber, no! Oh, hanging on. Happy days. Avalanche, and that should finish it off. There we go. Not fire effect, but it's still absolutely wiped it out. So I'll do I'll do one more encounter and then I'll I'll probably move on, challenge the trainers. I'm just gonna wait till I get down to the where you enter the rock cave and then I'll probably just end the episode there. Of course I'll have to fight the, the magic card trainer. He'll have some monstrous Pokemon when they evolve like for a team of four guardians will be pretty strong. Policy Carps. Oh, it's too I just hate the design of this Pokemon. It's just, there's just something about it. It's, it's really aggravates me looking at it. But I'll pick up the XP where I can. Push no, I should punch you there. There we go, up to level 9. Happy days. Oh, Icy Wind. That's a move that lowers speed. That's... I like that, actually. I'll just get rid of this. I think it's more damage anywhere. Oh, no. He's seen me. Oh, wait. Okay, I'll it. So a random Stantler has appeared. Halfway down, should be one more and that should be it. And hopefully with a speed drop, I get first priority attack here. And I do indeed. Here we go. There's a nice icy wind for that reindeer. I'm gonna move on. I'll probably skip this trainer battle. It's probably some of the Rabbitals. Of course it is. I'll 
to skip us through to the last one. I mean, when I started this game, the whole appeal to the uh, random encounter was not to see Zubats and Rattatas and, of course, the trainers have them, so can't avoid them and there's no way to change their Pokemon, so just have to endure it. Of course, the fun doesn't start till the random level comes in. That's when the, the difficulty will go way up. So here we go, random encounter again. We have an Oddish. I'm pretty sure Oddish spawns here, so that would be normal. And that Oddish goes down like a big sack of tears. There we go. Or a big sack of... What is Oddish? A bulb? A sack of bulbs? Maybe, I don't know. I'll get this Pokeball. Here we go. Encounter. What do we have? We have a Meditate. Ooh, I might actually add this to my party. Psychic and Fight... Or... Psychic and Fight is pretty good. It's monstrous in Pokemon Go, so I'm hoping that it's monstrous in here. So let's just hope I don't kill it. I'll just... I'll just start... I'll just throw a Pokeball straight out, point blank, and hopefully catch it and get it to my team. So we've got the two Shakes and we have a Meditate. New entry to the party. Because it's pretty good. Isn't that good? It's monstrous. So what's in this Pokeball? A Repel. I don't need a Repel, so oh well. Hoping for key items to attach to my Pokemon to boost their, their stats. So here we go. I'll take my Meditate for a spin and see how good it is. I'm pretty sure this trainer has a Poison Pokemon, so I should sweep it. Yep, there we go. Should be able to sweep through this pretty easy. We got a good level up, so we'll use Psychic on it. Oh, survived. I'm pretty sure Meditate avoids early as well, so that would be good. They are a good stage 2 though, the team, anyway. <coughs> nope, don't want your phone number, don't want any phone calls. The one thing I hate about, hated about gold, silver and crystal. People randomly phoning you and talking about a Rattata or the scene of Barry the other day there, or the scene a certain Pokemon and it ran away. Oh, here we go, Swallow. Another poison. Oh, absolutely wreck it as Meditate. Hopefully, up to level 7. Ah, you got some ice, sir. I like its wee moustache. It's some sort of moustache, anyway. Here we go, another encounter. What are we getting? We have a tail. This is like the third tail of encounter actually, so what are the chances out of 480 something Pokemon to get through the same one? I'm just gonna run from this. Of course I can't escape. Okay. Try again. Nope, not allowed to escape. Ah, that's a tail. I'm just gonna have to kill you. Uh, I misclicked there, I didn't mean to hit by it, but hopefully it attacks me and then I can just wipe it out. Nope, of course not. Failed. So let's just finish it off now. I'll usually be Dark Pulse on it, just to see what the, the move animation is like. Pretty cool. Dark Pulse, pretty cool. So when one leaves is the Magikarp trainer, I'm gonna battle him. Alright, that's not him. So it must be this must be the, the gentleman with the Magikarps. There we go. Four Magikarps. When they evolve, he's gonna have a monstrous team of four Gyaradoses. Pretty strong. Oh that's right, in this game you get the uh, the shiny you're guaranteed the shiny Gyarados and the Lake of Rage, isn't it? Just the right game, yeah it is. There we go, there's the first card down. Getting that. Oh no, that's right! 
With random encounters put on, maybe it'll change. Oh, well, maybe it'll be in guaranteed random encounter that'll be shiny. Quite early in the game, we'll find out as we we'll go on. That'll probably be episode 200 or something at this rate. So here we go, psychic. Although the, the Gyarados is a fixed sort of thing, so I'm hoping I will get the shiny Gyarados, but if it's a random encounter, but it's guaranteed to be shiny, I'm not going to complain. Unless it's something terrible like Rata or Zubat. He's got one last magic card. I also need to check. I've, I've, I'm going to pick up the um, the old rod soon, so I'm, I'm going to see if I use the old rod. Will it um, will it be a random encounter or will it be a magic card? So I'll, I'll do that probably in the next video. I'll, I'll go fishing for a wee bit and see what I get. Oh, I seen me. I think it's the golden trainer. I'm just going to skip over him anyway because there we go. Smashed. That's a dead good fish there for you. So I'll probably do another, I'll do another three encounters and see if I can get a, something interesting. So here we go, this is a trainer, uh, I'll just skip him. There we go, skipped, and I'll, I'll see what I can find here. So our first encounter is a, a Weevil, a Weevil. I might add this, to, I think it's a strong attacker plus it's dark and ice. So I'll see what I can do with this one. Well, I'm pretty sure if it hits me with a dark move, I'm pretty much dead here, even though it's only level 6. So the only move I can have is effective, or will not kill it, first turn is Dark Pulse, so I'll awaken it a good bit and then I'll use a Pokeball. I'm only allowed to use Pokeballs, that, that'll be my restriction, so whenever it comes to Legendary showing up, I'll only be using Pokeballs. I'm pretty sure this Pokemon has a very low catch rate, I think it's like 3%. But we'll see how we go. So I've got it down a good bit now. I might so I'll send out send it both. At least if uses a nice move, it won't be super effective. Because for a level 6 Pokemon, it has three different attacks, which is pretty good. I'll use a quick attack, and that should take it down a good bit. Oh, here we go, we're on the red. And that's taunting, fair enough. I will eventually give up with it, unless it's, it's, I mean, it's a good Pokemon, but it's not that good. So, I will go, let's get there. I thought that was a cut there. But you can let us know in the comments what sort of, uh, what random encounter Pokemon we'll have to catch, and add to the party anyway. Because it will eventually take Chikorita, because it's the worst starter. Worst starter in history, I would say. It's first form's nice, it's second form's okay, but it's last form's just, it's just a... A dinosaur of a Pelerin's now. Tur well, maybe Turbike might be the worst one. Design wise, Chikorita is pretty nice, but the rest are pretty bad. Alright, I'll try another Pokeball. If this doesn't catch it, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the XP. Of course, you, you can't hear it, but I'm, I'm bashing the MB button because apparently that gives you an instant, or well, helps the catch rate. Oh. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end an eye. Can't wait any longer than this. So, so random encounter, Mr. Mime. 
Here we go. Although I'm pretty sure Mr. Mime is meant to be about five foot. That looks about two foot. It looks more like a, a young Mr. Mime. So I'll take my XP here. Oh no, not copycat. Oh, it's gonna rack me. Oh no. Smashed. Smash me on Dark Pulse, so... I'll send out... I'll send out my Chikorita. I haven't gave Chikorita much love, even though I just complained about it there, but... Tackle. So I need to finish you off with. There we go. That's pretty. That's a pretty good amount of XP. So we have a bullet seed. I'll teach that to Chikorita actually. It's pretty good. And we have another encounter. Ah, oh, Spirit Tomb. That's very fitting for the time of the month. Very festive. Very Halloweenish. So I'll, I'll maybe try and catch this just to add to my team since it's October. Oh no, I forgot it's. I think it has no weakness. Of course it resists normal because it's ghost, but it has no weakness, so I'll use Ember on it here. That's it. It's okay, that's fine. So I'll use Ember again, Shadow Snake, okay. But no my luck, I'll probably just kill it here. Ah, oh, it's dead. Hep sick. Ah oh, well, it could have been, but we've yet to add a legendary to a party. So I'll just go on a hand here, and I'm pretty sure there's a wee sneaky, sneaky item up here. Okay, maybe not actually. There was in the original gold series. Of course, someone randomly shows up there from time to time. I think it's on a Tuesday and a Thursday. I want to find the the magic cart man. Oh, here's the here's that rod person I was talking about. So he's giving me an old rod. So later on, I'll try and see if it'll be a random encounter or will it be fixed to just magic cart. I'll do that in the next video. Nope. I want the slow Pokemon too. I think he's outside actually. I just wanna I just, I just can't remember the exact value. I think it's like one more like yen more than max money, so you can just never get it anyway. Yeah it is. So nope, can't get it. So I'll go in and heal the Pokemon here and then I'll call it a day. I'll probably record the next one tonight and I'll try and have it up as soon as possible. But let us know what you thought and subscribe and all that there, carry on.